Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this episode of It's a Dog's Life. We are dealing with a first change episode. Uh, in our specific case, we are dealing with Boo as the as the uh, as the woofer who's getting who's getting their first change today. And Boo is being played by Aya. Hello. And um, when we when we um, join Boo, the first thing we should be aware of is Boo is lupus. Boo is a floofer. Boo is in fact a floofer, a, a monumentally enormous floofer because Boo is uh, has the the merit huge size. She's basically a mix between a wolf and a Newfoundland. Yes, which to anybody who knows anything about dog breeds should give you an idea of this being a colossal case of canine. Let's put it this way. If you push a wolf, the wolf might sometimes budge. If you push a newfie, it'll look at you weirdly while you st stand there and strain yourself. Yes, it, <laughs> it probably will. And, and, and They are very solid dogs. <laughs> oh, yes. So you are you are this this gigantic combination of the two, and you are also a street dog. <clears throat> yes. Yes, which means that you are when we meet you for the first time. You are located. Um, it is. I should start by saying it is night. It is winter time. Not that that really bothers you because you're huge and, no. as we said, floofy. Um, but you are pretty close to the Shambles Market, which is here. And that is because okay. the Shambles is a world-famous street in, in York. Um, it's a very old uh, street. All uh, If you look at the map... Then all of the the uh, the, the purple um, uh, uh, street names there have restricted vehicle access. This is like the uh, oldest. This is the it's oldest to be careful part. of everything here. Don't yes, drive. Stop it. Exactly. And <laughs> I would I would venture that very very few cars could make it through the shambles anyway because it is very narrow, and mm. the houses are from the. You know the the sixteenth and seventeenth century, so they lean in over so the, the the over the street. So when you're standing at the bottom of the street, you have more space than there is if you move upwards because the houses on both sides literally lean in over the in over the street. Oh, they're that old. Yes, they are that old. Amazing. Yes, I've only seen is. that some places in Denmark where it's it like. Is. I'm leaning, but I'm fine. <laughs> and and it is chock full of it's. You might call it a tourist trap, and then again, if it is a tourist trap, at least it's a tourist trap done right, because they have all these really charming little shops in every one of the of the the, the buildings. Oh, and there you know, bound they, to be some good restaurants. The, exactly. And there are a couple of of sausage stands outside as well. Mm. And they always drop a sausage or two, you know. Basically. Yes. But Perfect. It is at this point. It is uh, after closing hours, and and you're basically searching through the the, uh, uh, the 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 shambles for something edible. And yes. <clears throat> And you're not the only animal there who is looking for something edible, because um, there are uh, there are other um, um, uh, you know other dogs and cats for that matter uh, that are out uh, scrounging. And um, uh, but but you you have you have a weird feeling in your whole body tonight. You're not feeling terribly well. It's like, oh, no. you ate, like you ate something that didn't s sit too well with you, except you haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Yeah, okay, that's weird. Yeah, exactly. Um, Should have kept you know, out of that Chipotle fucking thing. Yeah, although maybe the sausage that you just found is going to help. Oh, 
Then I eat that one. Yes, the 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 sausage the sausage vanish, vanishes into boo, and and before um, the cat gets to it. Before the cat. Uh, screw gets the to cats. It. The, the, the cat. Them. The cat looks at you with the most insulted demeanor you can imagine. It's like, how dare you just eat my food? Clearly, that was my sausage. I get out of the way before I get the claws. Yes, <laughs> the, the the cat is 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 not best pleased. But you you did win the race for the sausage. Um, yep, I'm out of there before the cat gets angry. <laughs> yep. And as you you uh, move further down the the um, uh, or further along the shambles, you find another you know another piece of something edible here and a, a trinket there and and um, and it's it's um, it's. The, the the strange thing is you you're you're really starting to have trouble walking in a straight line there's there's something very very weird going on and you're not quite sure what it is um but but you you are having trouble staying in a straight line i wind my plate to the world and curse the cat it was probably that fault probably yes the cat is to blame and it did look kind of shift. Yes, yes, it, it was a very shifty cat. It it had um it 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 looked like one of those alley cats that spends its entire life fighting for scraps too. Um, mm. but, yeah, probably but, it. But you did manage to escape before you 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 tasted his wrath. So it it can't even be because the the you know it, it it hurt you or anything it's just really really strange and as you 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 stumble along basically you you move further up the the um uh you move further up the road and you turn a corner and you see people. There are still people out in this part of of uh, of, of town, um, including a couple of kids who are like, "Oh, puppy!" and and their mother who pulls them along because no, no, it's it's you know you can't go near it and and you know that sort of thing. You don't mm. understand what they're saying, obviously, but but you realize that the 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 small two legs are clearly friendly. Um, small two legs friendly, big. F- Two legs, sometimes friend. Sometimes friendly, and and uh, and uh, especially small two legs are are pretty. They're they're pretty good because it often results in goodies. Um, Even if they don't give it to me freely, they're sometimes so short that they can't help it anyway. Exactly. You've you've had more than one ice cream uh, because of because of uh, you know short two legs dropping them. Yeah, they have um, no attention span. It's so was, easy. None whatsoever. And um, but uh, there is a <clears throat> there is a shop or a, a a place here on the on this 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 opening that you've come out onto, which is It's, uh, well, you don't know this in-game, of course, but out of character, it's a tea shop. Um, yeah. and, and not just a place where you, you buy tea in loose weight. It's, it's a place where you go and you have a pot of tea and some scones and so on. Oh, but that sounds extremely cozy. It is very, very posh. It's called Betty's. I've had the pleasure of visiting it once in my life. And it is the best cup of tea I've ever had. I can say for sure. Um, they, they, um, uh, but they have. Um, uh, they, there, there uh, is a person who just came out from there, who, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to like a piece of cake that they bought in there, and they put it down and just walk away. Oh, that's mine now. Yep. Now, now the cake is yours. And I might not be feeling well, but a full tummy is better than not a full tummy and being sick. Yes, you're absolutely right. So you approach the cake, and as mm-hmm. you as you numb the cake, which is which has been placed, and it, it's it's uh, it's uh, a, a custard uh, a cream pie, which is 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 very very nice. 
Um, as you as you are eating that, you are looking at there is a um, there is a reflective surface right there. Basically, it's a it's a, a sign, you know, the, mm. like a, a that's placed on the ground outside the store. Yeah. But it's highly polished, so you're looking at you're uh. looking at your own you're looking at your own reflection. I boof at it. Yes. The, the reflection boofs back. Because it's my cake, not its. Yes. The reflection boofs back and, and clearly thinks that it's its cake. <sighs> this means oh, war. Right. My cake. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, Don't care he... how big you are, I'm bigger. Yes. Raise and haggles, he... bark. Ooh, it barks back. Okay, this one is going down. Okay, so you, you basically go for it. Yes. And... Of course. I'm sick and someone wants my cake and it's as big as me and it kind of looks like me. It's really weird. It's really weird. And as you go for it, something very, very strange happens. You tumble into the, into the reflective surface and through it. And Clearly I won against the dog. Clearly, but you are also not quite sure what is going on because basically, out of character, of course, what is happening is you're passing into the Umbra. Oh, yeah. That's not going to be weird for a dog at all. <laughs> it's just super enormously weird. You're tumbling into this strange place and you, you, you land on the other side. You land in the, uh, in, in the snow and all the people are gone. People are gone. There, there are no two legs here. And the cake is probably also gone. Well, you, you had, you had munched up the cake, so you. you oh yeah, did... but I forgot that already. Yes, <laughs> there, there is no cake here. There is mm. a distinct lack of, of edibles, in fact. I sniff around. This is weird. It's very weird, especially because the world looks a little bit off. You don't feel quite as bad anymore, though. You, you feel a little bit more... Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, almost, you know, you, you, you have this feeling of you had eaten something bad and almost like you threw it up, except you haven't thrown up. Healing cake. Healing cake is cool. Um, yes. But you're looking at, at the... the um, you're looking at, at this this open area, hmm. and after a a, a, a moment, you, you just realize you're completely alone. Interesting. Maybe everyone just needed to go home to watch a show. <laughs> <clears throat> Those weird possible. boxes they have a tendency to stare at when they're home, you know. Yeah. And with sometimes light in them. they have boxes with light in, in the in the windows as well. Yeah. Well, I might as well go home and sleep. Well, yes. whatever I call home is probably a back alley with a good uh, yeah cardboard back... box. <laughs> exactly. So you start heading in 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 that general direction, and you you turn a corner and you turn another corner. Before you know it, uh, you are down here at High Oosgate. Right mm. around here. And you realize that not only are you alone, but you haven't seen a single living thing in all the time. You know, I mean, normally you would see a bird or another dog or a cat or maybe one of the two legs, but there's been nothing. It's just been totally empty. Until you get to this point, where you see, arguably, the biggest rat you've ever seen in your life. <coughs> this, this thing is about the size of a terrier. And it is, cl it is, it is clearly uh, aware of you. And then it runs away. I sit down and stare after like, what the fuck? 
it, it, it clearly it, it runs away. Do you follow it, or do you walk further on in, in the direction that you were going I before? round the corner very carefully, because that terrier-sized rat, rats can be vicious, and that size, who knew? Mm -hmm. uh, so I round the corner very slowly to stare after it, like, what the fuck? And then I follow it, because yes. curiosity is a thing. Yes, exactly, curiosity is a thing. Like, and what you... the fuck? Where, where do they get them that big? Yeah. Except it's gone. But there's a man instead now. There's one of the, the, the two legs who's... He, he's, he's looking a bit odd. You've never seen this one before, but I mean, you see new two legs every day. But this one Especially smells... in this area when there's a lot of traffic going through. Exactly. But this fellow... He smells differently. He does? Yeah. He, you, you're not, you're not quite sure how, but sniff. He, he smells friendly and old, very friendly very and old. old. I sniff again. Yes. Carefully wag tail to approach. Yes. yes. And he looks at you and goes. <laughs> Oh my, I haven't seen you before. Woof. <laughs> the strange thing is you understand him. There will be a moment before that sinks in to poor Boo. Yes. And then it's just tilt head in that perfect way where floppy ears is just perfectly floppy. Like, yes. what? <laughs> And he, he beckons you closer. Come over here. You look... You look hungry. I suppose that makes sense. You're a huge one, aren't you? Oh, waggy tail, waggy tail, waggy tail. Food! <laughs> yes. This is my he, best friend. I have decided. He uh, beckons you, you closer, and as you approach, he produces a nice, big... Bone <gasps> with meat on it. A proper Best friend bone. forever. Yes. And, and no, he's he, not getting it back. It's mine now. It's yours now, definitely. And and uh, and it's it's a good solid hearty meal on that bone. It's 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 uh, but you know, the strange thing is you haven't really seen two leggeds uh, carrying that kind of thing around before. I'm and, not questioning it. And she can pulled she... it out of thin air. Yeah. She's very naive. So she, uh -huh. She's not questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. She has the flaw naive. <laughs> Brilliant. So no, you, you don't question it. It's just, this is, a nice, uh, this is a nice person who just gave you food. He smells nice and I understand him, which is weird, but I'm not which questioning it. Kind of weird, it's probably yes. just how it's supposed to be. Magical yeah. cake. Yes. Magical cake. <laughs> Everything oh, happened really? after I ate the cake. I felt better. I'm here now. Giant rats. Friendly men. And I understand them. Magical yes. cake. Magical cake. <laughs> you, you, uh, he, he went, went, while you are gnawing and numbing on your bone, uh, one might even say you are, yeah, you are a bone gnaw right now. Hardy, mm -hmm. hardy, har. Uh, he, he reaches down and, and scratches you behind one ear. Ooh, tilt head. Yeah, that that actually feels kind of nice. Yep. And and he he um he looks he looks you he looks you over and he's like, this is this is strange. He says, you are here in the in the umbra with me, but <laughs> I don't think you have actually changed. At least not yet. How very peculiar. Could you Ruff. do me a favor? I look up. Yes. Contemplating whether I have to give up my bone to do him a favor or not. <laughs> it doesn't seem like he wants the bone back. That seems to be your... No, okay, I'm not letting go for it. <laughs> Mine now. Yes. He, he says, Could you try <clears throat> standing up on your hind legs? Weird request, but we'll try it. <laughs> we'll try it. 
She, she she does her best. Yes. <laughs> and as you do so, he puts a hand out and touches, you know, and just touches you on on your chest as you stand up. And you keep standing up. And you continue to stand up. And and then there's a moment where you're not quite sure what is happening and and everything goes goes dark. No. No. You're you're and and and, and My bone. Uh, yes, your bone, your food. <laughs> and you you have no idea for how long you're you're out, obviously. But you do come back around after a uh, after a while. And the old man is still there, but it's in a different place. You've you've clearly moved somewhat. Shit! Where's my bone? The bone is 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 amazingly enough. The bone is there. Oh, okay. I take it. Yes. And it's and he's like, you must be very hungry to be that concerned with the bone. Hmm? What is your name? Woof. Woof. Okay. We do need to give you a name. I like Charlie. Charlie is a good name, he says. Scratches you slightly behind the ear again. The thing is, he he has to reach up to scratch behind your ear as you realize you're very, 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 very large. Hmm. Right now. Well, that's unfortunate. Also a little weird. Did he shrink? That's 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 kind of the feeling. Is like what what happened? And that's the point where you realize that you're still standing on your hind legs. And well, I look down because this is weird. Yes, you you look kind of strange. Basically, again, this is this is you and Krenos. Well, seeing as she's never actually learned how to speak, woof is a white app response. <laughs> yes, but the question is if it is a panicked woof, or if it is a, a surprised woof, or a happy woof, or what it is. There is kind of the sound when you step on a dog's tail, <laughs> when she realizes she's standing on her hind legs in this way. Yes. <laughs> and the... Um... He, he grins a little and says, yes, yes, you have, you haven't got much rage in you. Not a lot, just enough to change, he says, and, and as, as... I sniff he, his face because now I'm tall. Yes, <laughs> he, he, uh, he does kind of, he laughs at that. And, um, and for the record, of course, it's this fellow. Old Man York. Yes. Ah! Uh... Oh! He... Yes. So he's basically a spirit. Yes, he is. I kind of figure it since he pulled stuff out of thin air. Yeah, and since you can just understand him and everything. Mm-hmm. Normally yeah, with her spirit heritage, weird shit is gonna happen. Exactly, that is precisely why. She has all the little enigma spirits and shit floating around her curios and shit like that. It's gonna be crazy. There's a reason she has a high intelligence. Yeah. All the weird shit they ask her is like, I have to think about this. <laughs> yes. So you are a... You are a werewolf, he says. But that werewolf? probably doesn't doesn't mean a whole lot. But it does mean that you can become two legs and four legs and what you are now. Interesting. I need to get a hold of some of the others so they can help you. Mm -hmm. There are others like you in this city. Well... So this one, she's calling bullshit because she hasn't seen anyone looking like her other than the one in the thing makes her think. And just as, as you you do the whole 
I'm not sure that that is uh, that that is going to happen. You hear a snarl, mm. not a friendly one either. I look toward the snarl. There are a couple of. Well, they look like a strange mix between. You're not quite sure what animal they were originally, or if they were ever actually animals. They 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 look kind of canine, kind of. Sort of. Yes, sort of. But they don't look like any dog you've ever seen. For one thing, their heads are are almost you know they they they're hairless. And they don't have. Ugh, any... That's never a good look on any canine. No, it's not. And it gets worse because they don't have any eyes, and it's not because they've lost their eyes. There are no eye sockets. Frick this, man. Mm-hmm. And they, 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 their tongues that are lolling out of their maws are like, it's it's cleft like a, a snake's tongue. And and the man is like, oh dear. This is never good. Oh, well... Well, best friend forever is being growled at. I don't want that. Defending mm -hmm. stance. Bark, bark. Bark, bark, bark. (laughs) This is my bone giver. Go away. Yes. And they actually... They actually seem... once, Once they realize you do that, they seem far more interested in you. Good! Oh, wait, no. (laughs) <laughs> well, that is the thing. It's not good because what happens is you once again, at least for a little while, you kind of lose control of yourself. You you oh. can't remember exactly what happens next, except the last thing you remember is that they charge. You know, they they mm. basically, they they're going for you. Yeah, and then and then. There's a moment of, of of fear, and then there's a moment of anger, and then there's a moment of, no, my bone, get away. And that is when... That is when the the, uh, the, the, the darkness sets in again, and you, you can't... You don't actually remember what, what happens for a little while. Mm. When you come back around, you are in an alleyway. It, it could, for that matter, have been, you know... It, it looks quite similar to the one where you normally sleep, but it's not that one. But it's it's the same sort of back alley. <clears throat> and there's a different two legs sitting there. You're back in your in your normal uh, canine form. Mm. Um, but but there's a different two legs sitting there. Oh. And he speaks to you, except you are aware that he is actually he's actually communicating as a dog would with growls and smells and woofs and body language and so on and huh. it's it's a bit weird because you're not used to getting that from from something walking on two legs but he's understandable even if it's a little little weird yeah tilt head stare yes tilt head stare and he he uh, he he reaches out uh, towards you, um, and says and says, "You should come with me. I will help you." All right. He. Uh, I get he... up and stare at him. I've never had anyone bark at me before, but it's a new sensation. And everything. Yes. He uh, he points to himself and says, I'm George. And she then, tries to pronounce the name she was given by the weird man that gave her a bone. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's difficult, but you manage to get something that, with a little bit of goodwill, could be understood as, as Charlie, um, out of, of your... Your 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 snout. It's 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 hard, but it kind of sort of kind of works. And um, and he nods and says, "You were very lucky to meet him." (laughs) 
Did he feed you? Wildly wagging tail. <laughs> he, he, he yes, food. He yes, grins. food. Food good. <laughs> yes, except you can't actually see the bone anywhere now. Yes, food good. Oh no, it's gone. Wine. <laughs> <laughs> Missing food. Sniff, 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 sniff. Wine. He takes out from. He's he's wearing a backpack over his shoulder. He takes out an entire salami and holds it out towards you. He has my undivided attention. <laughs> and he's, he he uh, he crouches down and and lets you lets you finish the food. My new best friend. Yes, the the other best friend is temporarily forgotten about. No, no, he's still best friend. She's a very loyal dog. Oh, there are several best friends. I get it. You, They're you really are... friendly. They are usually a good friend. If they feed her best friend. Yes. Then you, you're, you, are, you are very bribable when it comes to food. Mm -hmm. I take it. Yes. And, and he explains to you while you are eating. He explains to you that, that he is like you. Uh, and that he will, that he will help you um, get to a place where you will meet others. Of, of the same kind and that you will be uh, treated um, with um, you'll be treated with with a measure of, of, of kindness because he's bringing you in and um, and uh, and then once you have eaten he he uh, he does something you this is the first time obviously you see it happening but he changes form into that of a wolf. Oh! <gasps> You've never seen a two leg do something like that before. I drop whatever is left of the salami, like, what the fuck? Mm hmm. <laughs> and then I sniff because. New! Weird! Yes. Well, he's a normal sized wolf. Um, Holy and... crap, you're tiny! <laughs> he, he, sniff, yes. sniff, 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 sniff. <laughs> <laughs> and he he uh, he sniffs you back because that's obviously the way that you you know you get each other's scent. Um, mm -hmm. She nearly has none. Yes, which is clearly something that he finds a little bit strange. But but he he's he does his level best nonetheless. Mm. And then he he does a, you know like a, a toss of his head for you to follow him, and and he pats out of the. Um, out of the uh, um, what is it called? Uh, the alleyway. I and... fall on springy legs. Yes. And oh, he, this is weird. He takes you to the the uh, he takes you to the sept as well. Hmm. Which is um, outside of the immediate city center and a little bit further down south. There's a, a park where it's located. And uh, and he takes you there, and when you get there, you immediately feel like it is a it is a good place. It is a friendly place, which is a little bit of a strange feeling because it's literally the place which is friendly. Oh, I take um, a celebratory lab around the area. Yes. It is. Uh, it is actually. It's a fairly large uh, area, but you you take a celebratory lap around, and he waits patiently for you to come back, and um, and he explains to you that this is an important place to people like you and him to mm. to uh, um, and he he uses the the guru sound for guru. Guru. Oh, exactly. <laughs> And, no, um, she just tries to recreate the sound, which is a little bit easier than Charlie. Yeah. Yes, yes, it's 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 an easier sound to to approximate. And um, and you see that there are other people present. There are others in in the area that are also um, either on on four legs or some stage between but you know there are some in in pretty much every one of the five shapes that are present oh my god new friends i run over to say hi <laughs> <laughs> um, 
some of them are more friendly than others, let's put it that way. Uh, she'll find out quickly enough. <laughs> yes. Um, obviously, the, the, um, you, you, you find out uh, pretty quickly that, that, that the, the, the one who seems to be the alpha, the leader, is, is quite standoffish. Oh. But, uh, but the, there, there's, um, uh, there is a, another wolf there. Um. Finally someone I can understand. Yes, definitely. And, and you, you, uh, you have some interactions with, uh, Drains the River and, and, uh, manage to, to share sense with, with her as well. And with several others, in, uh, including probably the smelliest creature you have ever experienced in your life. Uh, Sir Farts a lot. He's also Holy there. Holy shit. Yes, he... There's a sniff sniff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then rubbing snoot on ground like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was highly unpleasant. Um, and and it, that, that does get a good <sighs> laugh out of... Out of several people present um so basically your first change is almost a peaceful one except for the two banes that that came for you and they're already forgotten they're already forgotten the point of course is also that your rage is very very low which tends to mean that the lower your rage score the less violent a first change people tend to have Mm -hmm. Not always the case, but tend to have, and um, and so you uh, you spend the first of of, of several uh, evenings in in the set. You you probably or they they basically explain to you that you should stay there for a few days at least, and they will make sure that there is food and some place to sleep and so on. Um, okay. Uh, while they explain the basics to you. Mm. And and uh, and so that is your first evening and your first change, and your uh, deed name, um, uh, because of because of what has happened, uh, becomes lost bone. Oh no! <laughs> Rude. Yes. They could just stop making my bone go lost. Yes, it's very rude. She will forever be looking for that. Yes, if she ever finds that bone again, I swear it'll be it'll become a um, it'll 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 become a, at least a talon, if not a fetish, for her. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not only did she lose her new friend, she also lost her bone when those things attacked. It was yes. really rude. Bone of eternal food. Mm-hmm. That would be a cool thing for for Bonor to have. Yeah. In this oh. case, I'm just I'm sorry, but old man Yorg will just be called Bone Giver for her. Yes, <laughs> he's the bo- he is the Bone Giver. He's Bone Giver. Yes, I like that. So, do you have any questions? No. Uh, only yeah, you know, actually one. Yes. Uh, Little Charlie has a little bit of a flaw, yes. where is um, not only is she naive, but she's also a little bit absent-minded. Yes. So she occasionally. <laughs> so they've had issues, re- you know, make her remember shit. She yes. also has pierced veils, so her, you know, Krinos does not scare anyone. Yes, and she, she they find out about that over the uh, the course of. of a, a relatively short time, of course, then, mm-hmm. then these things are realized and taken into consideration, <laughs> and um, and you're you're you are told very very firmly to not let any uh, any humans see you in 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 Krinos form because they will, or at least have someone way. else who also go Krinos yes. with me. Yes, because then they will just forget the whole. Thing not anyway. a child of Gaia. Yes. Last chance, not gonna work. <laughs> not gonna work. But yes. So, other than that? No, we need okay. to find out what her reputation is, but other than that, no. Her reputation really comes from the fact that 
uh, that um, George brings you in. Okay. Um, because he's so well liked in the set that the fact that he's taking her under his wing means that she is, you know, she's still a bone nor, and and they are still, you know, it's it's they they are still treated like the bottom of the pile. But as the bottom of the pile goes, at least you're, you know. Oh well, she's all right then. She's all right, kind of. Yeah, in my yeah. in my case, it gives me three extra dice to a social dice pool, when it's my yes. sept die I have something to do with. Yes. So they 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 do treat you with with more with more kindness than than mm. than the other bone nors definitely. Uh, all the, right. The, the silver fangs mostly are are still a bunch of uppity bastards, but. That's just the way they are. It's okay to be standoff. It's not yes. their fault. They're slightly like cats. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that is it for uh, for this session of uh, first changes, and um, I'm going to uh, yeah, I'm going to end the recording in just a few moments. But for the ladies and gentlemen of the viewing audience, thank you very much for tuning in. And by all means, listen to the other um, the other first changes and to any future episodes of It's a Dog's Life. We look forward to hearing from all of you. And on that note, from us, bye. Bye.